Okay, welcome. Today's video is going to explain how to find the distance between two points. So if we start off on the first example, we have the point 2, 3. So we want to plot over 2 and up 3. And we have the point 7, 8. So we're going to go over 7 and up 8. And we'll draw in the line between these two points. Now, we can't just count the boxes because we know that the diagonal of a square is longer than the side length. So to find the distance between these two points, some of you might say, oh, make it into a triangle. Well, we did that practice of the Pythagorean theorem. So if we easily make this into a right triangle, then we can see that this side length here of this leg is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this side length here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so we can say, oh, well, I know that because this is a right triangle, that 5 squared plus 5 squared should give me that distance over here of C that I'm trying to find. Well, that's going to be 25 plus 25 is equal to C, whoops, C squared, and um, 50 is equal to C squared. So to find just C, I'm going to take the square root of 50, which is approximately 7.07. .07. So that's going to be my length of C. 7.07. .07. But we know the Pythagorean theorem already. And we are trying to increase our sophistication level. And so we're going to take parts of the Pythagorean theorem and put it into what we're calling the distance formula. If we look at this next slide, and it's really tiny on your page, but we're going to make it bigger. This formula here is what's called the distance formula. Um, this is a formula that people, mathematicians, have used over and over and over again. And it has its roots in the Pythagorean theorem. If I break this down for you, the D just stands for the distance. Whoops. The x2 minus x1 means we're just finding the length along one side. Let's just pick a couple points as an example. Let's say I use this point 2, 4 here, or maybe this point negative 3, 1. I'm going to connect the dots. And then if I want to go back and, and make this into a triangle, because I thought, think I want to use the Pythagorean theorem, well, this distance from here to here, this length of, along this side, I'm just subtracting the x's. I'm going from this x to this x. So this is my x2 minus x1 part. That's where this part comes from. And then this length along here, from here to here, well, I'm just going from my y value of 4 to my y value of 1. So that's the y2 minus y1 part. So if I subtract the x's, so I'm doing minus the x's and minus the y's, and then I'm squaring those parts, because it says to square them in the formula, and then I'm adding them together, isn't this just sort of like a squared plus b squared? And it's going to get me that, that length, c squared. And so the square root at the end means that square root that we normally do in the Pythagorean theorem. So it's just another version, another way to find the length of a missing side. It's really helpful because we don't have to have a picture of it. We don't have to, have, we don't have to be on a coordinate grid to find those lengths. Let's look at an example. 4, 7, and 8, 2. Now one of the first things I want to do is write down the formula. The distance formula is the square root, the x2 minus x1, that means subtract the x's and square them, 
y2 minus y1, subtract the y's and square them. Always start by writing down the distance formula. Well, this is my first x, just because I wrote it first, and this is my first y, and this is my second x, and this is my second y. So I'm just going to plug those values into the correct part of the distance formula. And I still need the square root sign. Well, x2, well, there it is, 8. Subtract x1 is 4 squared. Plus, let's take my second y. That's 2. Subtract, there's my y1, 7 squared. And I'm just going to then start to simplify this using order of operations. I have to do things in parentheses first. 8 subtract 4. Well, that's just 4. I'm still going to square it. 2 subtract 7 is negative 5. I'm going to keep that in parentheses to remind myself that I'm squaring a negative 5, not just 5 and then making it negative. Well, if I do out this part, 4 squared is 16. Negative 5 squared is 25. 16 plus 25 is 41. And then when I take the square root of 41 as the last step, the length should be 6.4 units. Um, you need to show all this work as you're doing the problem. You need to show out all the work. Okay? Let's look at another example. 5, negative 3. There's my x1, y1, and 8, negative 7. x2, y2. Let's write down the distance formula, square root. x2 minus x1. Excuse me just a minute, someone's at my door. Oops, I think we started again. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we wrote down x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 squared. So. Square root. Subtract my x's. Another 8. Minus 5. Squared. Plus. Negative 7 minus negative 3. Be very careful when you have negatives in your... Be very careful when you have negatives in your um, points because when you're subtracting a negative, that has to become a positive. So then we go like this. 8 minus 5 is 3 squared. And then we're going to square it. Negative 7 plus 3 becomes negative 4 squared. And then that becomes 9 plus which is equal to 25, which is equal to 5 units. Square root of 25 is 5. So again, upping the sophistication level, we don't need to draw out a triangle every time we want to find the distance between two points. Okay? One more example, a few more negatives, so we have to be careful. Again, Write out the formula so you don't get confused. The distance formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared equals, this is my x1, y1, this is my x2, y2, square root. Negative 6 is my x2, subtract 5 squared plus negative 12, again, minus a negative 8 squared. When you subtract a negative, that becomes plus. Equals square root. Negative 6 minus 5, well, that's negative 11. We're going to square that. And negative tw 12, yep, plus 8 becomes negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4 squared. Can you tell I just lost my train of thought for a minute there? Let's see, 11, negative 11 squared is 121. 
plus negative 4 squared is 16, and 121 plus 16 is 137, and the square root of 137 is 11.7. Again, lots of work to show, but that way you're not losing track of any numbers or negative or forgetting a step. Take a minute and add the distance formula to your blue vocab sheet. Thanks, and we'll be doing some practice in class.